Hey gang, today we're going to go over that lick that I just played. Uh, we'll do it note for note over that chord progression, which is kind of a Pachelbel's canon type of progression. Uh, it's really fun to play like that, kind of melodic. This is not the melodic rock lesson, so don't ask. That's coming, okay? All right, we'll see you in just a few. All right, gang, let's go over this note for note. First things first, you can download the tab from the link in the description below. It's going to make your life a lot easier. Second thing is the chord progression. This is in A major, and it's kind of got a descending bass line. So it goes like this. It starts out in a, a with an A, A with a G sharp bass, F sharp minor, E major, D major, A with a C sharp bass, to an E. And then it starts again. So the whole thing kind of sounds like this. All right. Let's do the lick itself now. Uh, first thing I got to tell you is I have a really hard time doing the same thing twice on this one. I always want to play a slightly different lick. I'll try and play what I played in the beginning. All right, so um, well, first thing is we're going to change the sound. I'm adding some gain. I'm trying to keep that classic rock sound, but I'm adding a lot of gain here so that we can have sort of soaring notes, especially if you put some vibrato on them, okay? So that's kind of what you want. Still on that bridge pickup. All right, let's see if I can play that same lick. I'm going to play the whole thing kind of slowly, and then we'll go through it, all the notes on it, okay? So here's the lick itself, playing it in the A major scale, starting up at the 17th fret. I think that was pretty close to it. All right, we'll start out with the 17th fret here. We're going to play that up a whole step, play, bend that up a whole step on the second on the second string, 17th fret, and give it some vibrato. Now we're going to play the 17th itself, so it sounds like this. All right, after a sufficient time, we're going to play this little uh, hammer on pull off. Okay, so that whole line sounds kind of like this. Now we got to watch the timing on the next one. The next line kind of goes like this. Okay, so we're starting now on the first string, 12th fret, hammering on to the 14th and pulling off to the 12th again. And then walking down the A major scale on the second string and third string here. Coming back up on the second string to the 12th and 14th. All right, that whole second line sounds like this. Now here's what I think is kind of the key to this one. We're going to shift down two frets and uh, we're going to play this line. We're going to shift down two frets while we still have this ringing and bend it up. So it's going to sound almost continuous but not quite. So it's supposed to sound kind of like this. gives kind of a nice effect. We have it and then we slide down and bend back up. Nice little trick. Again, we're playing. We slide down two to the fifth to the twelfth, bend up a whole step three times. Now we're gonna put hit it again on the third time, pull it down, pull off to the tenth. Third string eleventh. And then again, 12th, bending up a whole step and back down. So it sounds like this. Now here's the last line. We're going to bend up on the 12th, second string. And now we're going to walk down the A major scale, but the notes, the timing of the notes doesn't quite work out, so we're going to add one chromatic note in there. It really doesn't matter where you put it. I happen to put it on the first string, so I'm going to play this. OK, 
Okay, so we're going on the top string. On the first string, we're going 12, 11, 10, 9. And then on the second string, we're just playing E major scale now. 12, 10, 9, third string, 11, and 9. And that's the whole thing, all right? So here's the whole thing again, once more slowly. And that's it. Well, there you have it, gang. Short and sweet. And uh, we'll see you next time. We'll see you real soon. Right on down the road. Or whatever.